Okay, here's an intersection that's about 50 yards away to the uh, stoplight. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to kind of scan back and forth a little bit. And then we'll have the uh, do the same thing viewing with the uh, thermal viewer. Okay, uh, we're outside here and what we're doing is, uh, this is just an intersection that's about 50 yards away. You can't really see the uh, stoplight there. But I'm hoping we'll get, there we go, there goes a vehicle going by. Uh, this is just giving you an idea of what you can see with this. Now I'll go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mess with the screen brightness a little bit, kind of step it through. It's not actually changing anything on the thermal camera, just the uh, display screen from uh, got about 10 brightness settings on that so you can basically kind of step it through to see uh, see a little more clear view of what's going on that seems about right for this particular scenario and at 50 yards you can see that's an SUV out there in the center so uh, doesn't have a real high distance resolution but uh, you can see things at a pretty good distance. Okay, here we are, and we're looking at a couple of deer in the field, about a hundred yards away or so, I think. And you have to pardon the view, I'm trying to study this. This was impromptu, I didn't see them. But so this is a view through the thermal of some deer in the field. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to a Gen 3 PVS 14. And uh, this is an early Gen 3, so. Bear with me here. Get them out on out there. Let me see where they're at here. I gotta focus, so hang on a minute. Bear with me. same view through the PVS 14. Uh, both of these have about one to one unity so there you go there there if you were looking at with a Gen 3 uh, night vision and there's stadium lights way off in the distance but they really brighten up this field so the night vision is able to see them pretty clearly. They've moved out just a little bit, kind of kind of hard to see. I don't know if it'll show up in the video or not. There he goes. He's got his head up. Can't really see when I'm filming here, so. There's a PVS 14 of deer at about 100 or so yards. And, oh, if I turn it around right, it might help. And here's the same view looking through the thermal viewer. And they're at about the maximum range that you could actually be able to detect anything. So, there you go. Okay, so there's a... Uh I don't know what the hell it is running across the field, a raccoon or something, but I seen some eyes in the headlights I pulled off, and there we have an animal at about 30 yards, small animal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this thermal, and I'm going to see if I can see him on night vision. I think it's a 
this thing lined up would be great. You can see the see them out in the field dead ahead. And that is a cat. I confirmed it with uh, seeing it, so he's a little ways out. And now let's go back to thermal. Oh yeah, you can see him moving now. I just couldn't see him looking, trying to hold this uh, thing up to this PVS-14. So there's a difference. Now this is night vision and there is some ambient light from the headlights out there, so Okay, so uh, there's a cat out in the field here. I don't know if you can see him. He's uh, looks like he's about 30, 40 yards out or so. And I'm not sure if this camera is focusing on the uh, night vision screen that much. It is a pitch black night. I mean, there's stars, no moon, about as dark as you can get out here in the country. So there's a view through the PVS-14. Okay, and here's a view through the thermal again, and remember this is a cat we're talking about. And I believe he's just too far out for me to see anymore. But right now, headlights are off, everything's off. There's a view of the thermal. And there's a view through the PVS-14. And I don't know if you, like I said, I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see him out there. And he's probably about 40, 50, 60 yards out. Who knows? Can't really, kind of hard to, for me to judge. And there's the view with uh, ambient light. <laughs> 